After two long weeks, Power Ranger Beast Morphers is finally back on Australian TV, and those two weeks took forever, but now it's finally back, I'm ready to review it, I'm ready to talk about it. Episode 16 of Power Ranger Beast Morphers, Gorilla Art. So the episode opens up with Ravi rocking up at Grid Battle Force HQ, saying he's going to work on his Beast Saber, but not really, he's actually going to be painting Roxy in her cryogenic state. Now, if you can't remember from last week's episode or two weeks ago or three episodes ago, Ravi is a bit of a painter and a bit of an artist, but he keeps it a secret from his mother because his mother says art is a waste of time for a ranger, so he's keeping it a secret. So as he's painting Roxy while she's unconscious, Smash walks in and Smash is like, what are you doing, Ravi? And Ravi freaks out because he thinks that Smash is going to tell everyone his secret because he's embarrassed of his secret. He doesn't want his mother to find out. So Ravi jumps the gun and presses a few buttons on Smash where Smash goes unconscious. He wakes up, gets rebooted, and suddenly has the urge to paint. He's painting like he's Da Vinci. Except he's not cutting off anyone's ears or his own ears because he's a beast book gorilla. So Smash has the sudden urge to paint and then it comes to him going outside where he's painting on a giant mural or a bathroom, a public bathroom stall in the middle of the park in New Zealand, somewhere in the park of New Zealand. And while this is going on, a Robotron attacks and the Robotron is a giant fan monster that can blow people away and he can fly in the air. So. This monster is quickly dealt with as the rangers come and save the day and Ravi destroys the monster and saves the day. And we're thinking, oh cool, they dealt with the monster right away, things are gonna end, the credits are gonna roll, and the episode's done. Wrong again, because Smash is still painting and they gotta figure that out, but after that, it then cuts through the cyber dimension with our favourite villains, Blaze, Roxy and Scruzzle, and of course Evox, because he lives there too, you just barely see him sometimes. Um, so. Scruzzle is working on the um, cheetah, not the cheetah, the um, beast beast powers combined thingy machigi. Scruzzle is working on that, and suddenly you hear a voice, and out of the shadows comes a brand new character, and it is of course the person we've heard about since episode two, Vargoyle. And Vargoyle is a cool looking monster. He sort of has the predator mask on. Well, he's got the predator dreads. He's a robot with dreadlocks. That's a cool little design. But Vargoyle shows up and he says, Scruzzle, what did you do with my Red Fury cells? So, um, Vargoyle was the inventor of the Red Fury cells, or Scruzzle invented them and Vargoyle wanted them for himself. But Vargoyle chases Scruzzle all around the area and Blaze and Roxy intervene and he's about to pick a fight with them. And then Evox enters the scene. And this is where we quickly learn the origin of Vargoyle where he was created by Scruzzle. So Scruzzle is a daddy. Congratulations, Scruzzle. You're a daddy, you did well raising your son, sort of, because uh, Scruzzle gave um, Vargo the red and the red fury cells and it made Vargo very very powerful but it also made him evil and it turned on and he made him which made him turn on Scruzzle, which is why Scruzzle was hiding from Vargo in episode 2 because Vargo probably went on a first for vengeance with all that power since you know what the red fury cells did since last week's episode or last time's episode. So Vargo is now working for the villains and Evox says, hey, if you can defeat the rangers for me, I'll give you that beast power up thing with all the beast morphers rangers powers. And Vargo is like, sure thing, I'll work for you Evox. And this upsets Blaze and Roxy because they were like, hey, you were meant to give us those powers, you're meant to give those powers to us. And Evox basically responds with, hey, I only help my most loyal and useful subjects, so jokes on Blaze and Roxy because they didn't do anything this episode, they just got their asses handed to them in the first five minutes of the episode. Off screen! So I guess they're not doing so well in Evox's point system. So the cuts back to Grid Battle Force HQ where everyone's trying to figure out, hey why is Smash painting so much? And the commander's like, I hope he's not painting because painting is not a thing for a beast bot and it's a waste of time. Rabble, 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 rabble. Um, I understand where she's coming from. She's training soldiers, not artists. So she walks off screen, and after she walks off screen and leaves the room, Ravi's like, hey guys, I paint. And everyone's like, you do, Ravi? You're amazing as a painting, because he shows them the paintings. And Ravi then comes clean that he's afraid to tell them because he doesn't want his mum finding out and she doesn't like Ravi painting because she's not a fan of his hobbies because he's a ranger first and an artist second, that kind of stuff. So everyone is saying, 
don't be bad, don't feel bad Ravi, you're a good painter. So Ravi comes clean about his painting and tells him what he did to Smash and Nate's like don't worry I'll fix it because the rangers go off to fight Vargol and Vargol is stealing some Morphex and Vargol's personality really confused me in this one scene because when he's fighting five rangers he was a bit of a coward he's got this cloak over his head he's like oh don't hurt me don't hurt me and he's running around the place he's like tied up by the arms he's scattering scattering around the place it's just basically buying time as he absorbs all the morph acts. so this was a strange plan that he had but it was an interesting cowardly villain plan that he had because once all the rangers were gone they had to go into the zord battles leaving only steel he was basically haha there's only one ranger now you'll regret fighting me one on one which the guy was being a coward the whole time and not wanting to fight so i understand his plan i don't understand his plan it was a cool plan because I like Vargol's design and just how he just jumped around the place and started kicking the crap out of Morph Steel. That was really awesome, I did like his fighting style, but anyway, Vargol was holding back and he basically kicks the shit out of Steel, making him demorph. And this is when Nate shows up, he's like, leave my bro alone, he's like, well I got what I need, I'm out of here people. And Vargo leaves the scene, meanwhile while that is going on, uh, there's a Megazord battle and you know I don't talk much about the Megazord battles because they all end the same. The Rangers form the Megazord or Devon gets the win in the Megazord because it's the Sentai footage, stuff like that. But it was a different kind of Megazord win this week because it was a Megazord in the air. Like a few weeks ago it was a Megazord underground, now we've got a Megazord in the air. So Nate used Smash the jump up into the air and blow it to smithereens but I did like the scene after Nate had fixed um smash where he's like oh cool smash is all fixed and he's like Nate goes smash could you please hold this paintbrush and paint something for me and smash is like fuck this shit I ain't got time for paint and I'm out of here boy he doesn't say it like that but he's like a beast butt doesn't paint I gotta shave Ravi I, I do a good smash impression um so anyways uh I did like that scene where he's like he just, Nate holds up the paintbrushes and Smash was like, screw that, I'm out of here. Um, but yeah, so the day is saved and the Rangers defeat the Robotron, but Vargo did get away with a shit ton of Morphex. So we then come back to the Cyber Dimension where Scruzzle walks up to Vargo and he looks at all the Morphex that he's collected and says, Son, I'm proud of you. Together we can rule this world and Evox. No, that doesn't really happen. Um, what happens is Evox actually gives Vargo the power-up chip that they that Blaze and Roxy have been working really hard for these past five to six episodes. And Vargo is the one that gets the upgrade, not Blaze and Roxy that Threw me for a loop, I thought one of them would get it. But Blaze and Roxy aren't happening, they're like, hey, we've got to actually finally team up for once instead of not working against each other. And they're like, I agree, and that's where that scene ends. So that was episode 16 of Power Ranger Beast Morphers. It was a fun little episode. It's good to have Power Ranger Beast Morphers back on the Australian airwaves after two weeks. Two long weeks that felt like forever because the Power Ranger news was kind of dry while nothing was going on. So it's good to have it back on the TV up and down under. So it was a fun little episode. I didn't really care for the Ravi stuff and the Ranger side. I mean, it was fun and entertaining, but... Power Ranger Beast Morphers has got me more caring about the villains like Blaze and Roxy and Scruzzle and Evox because I know they're going to make their move eventually, like they're not bumbling buffoons. These villains in Power Ranger Beast Morphers, they're slowly making their move. They make mistakes, but with each mistake these villains make, they're slowly improving, they're slowly getting better. Mostly because these villains are human, they're not like people in suit actors apart from Scruzzle and Evox is a CGI monster. Um, I'm really, really enjoying these villains, and I can't wait to see where it goes next week, because now Vargo has got the power up, and Blaze and Roxy are going to work together, and they're going to somehow turn on Vargo and probably Scruzzle to get this power up, so I'm really excited to see where that goes. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the review here. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Power Ranger related content, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. All those things are very important, it helps me out, it helps you out. Anyway guys, have a wonderful day, I'll see you guys later, peace out.